Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the series 4 of BPharm 5th semester Pharmacology 2. Uh, this video is related to anti-arrhythmic drugs. Kindly go through the series 1, 2 and 3. First we are going to see about uh, classify anti-arrhythmic drugs. Uh, it is of 5 kinds. One is uh, class 1 which is uh, sodium channel blockers. Class 1A, it has subdivisions also. Class 1A blocks uh, sodium channels in the open state that is quinidine and uh, procainamide. Class 1B drugs uh, block the sodium channels in the inactivated state lignocaine, tocainide and uh, mexilatine. Class 1C drugs, they don't have any effect on the action potential duration that is flecainide. Class 2 drugs, these are beta blockers, propranolol, metoprolol, esmolol. Class 3 drugs, they are potassium channel blockers, britilium, ibutylide, dofatilide, uh, amiodarone and uh, sotalol. Class 4 drugs are uh, calcium channel blockers, verapamil and uh, diltiasm. Class 5 drugs, digoxin, adenosine and magnesium. So first is uh, this is the pharmacology of quinidine. Quinidine is isomer of quinine uh, which is obtained from cinchona plant. It's a class 1A anti-arrhythmic uh, drug. Mechanism, it uh, blocks the sodium channels in the open state in the myocardial cells. They decrease the automaticity in the SA node. Phase uh, 0 depolarization is uh, reduced. That, is, that means that it is prolonged and the action potential duration is increased. Myocardial contractility is, is reduced. That means the heart uh, beats with a slower rate. Extra cardiac actions, it causes uh, it, it causes alpha blockade also, so causes fall in BP. Uh, it is orally absorbed, partially metabolized in the liver and uh, eliminated in urine. Uh, quinidine plus uh, dextromethorphan is useful in treatment of uh, emotional lability, that is pseudo bulbar effect, which happens in the neurodegenerative diseases. It is uh, effective in uh, treating uh, atrial and ventricular arrhythmias, but uh, nowadays its use is obsolete because more and uh, more effective and safer drugs are available. Adverse effects of quinidine diarrhea is uh, most common. It causes quity prolongation, thrombocytopenia. Higher doses can cause uh, synchronism, uh, which is uh, tinnitus, uh, dizziness, and uh, blurred vision. Drug interactions. Uh, it, with the digoxin, it increases the digoxin toxicity, which is a displacement reaction. With vasodilators, already it uh, causes alpha blockade, so it uh, decreases the BP more. With the thiazide diuretics or loop diuretics, it increases the risk of torsadus uh, D pointers, that is QT prolongation. With beta blockers and uh, verapamil, it increases uh, the myocardial depression. The next drug is uh, lidocaine. Uh, it is a local anesthetic and having anti-arrhythmic property also. Class 1B anti-arrhythmic drug mechanism. It has more effect on the ischemic tissue non, uh, than the non-ischemic tissue. In the ischemic tissues, more number of sodium channels are in the inactive state because they have less ATP. So, uh, they are in the inactive state. That channels are blocked. It prevents the arrhythmia arising out of it. Kinetics, it undergoes uh, extensive first-pass metabolism after oral administration. So, it is not uh, effective orally. It is administered IV or a uh, continuous infusion. If they go for continuous infusion, uh, they may give a loading dose. Therapeutic uses, it is the drug of choice for treatment of uh, ventricular arrhythmias. It is not useful in case of uh, atrial arrhythmias or uh, supraventricular arrhythmias. So, it is the only drug of choice in case of ventricular arrhythmias which can occur due to digitalis toxicity also. It is not effective as I told you, it is not effective in any other uh, arrhythmia which is out of the ventricles. Adverse effects, high serum concentrations can cause CNS adverse effects such as nervousness, tremor and paresthesia. Then amiodarone, it is a class 3 anti-arrhythmic drug. Uh, it blocks the um, number of uh, potassium channels, sodium channels, calcium channels and beta adrenoreceptors in the myocardial cells. It may be called as wide spectrum anti-arrhythmic drug also. It decreases the SA node automaticity, AV conduction velocity, uh, ventricular refractory period is uh, increased, AV node, uh, it, it uh, takes more time to conduct through the AV node. 
it's a powerful inhibitor of ectomic, ectopic pacemaker activity any other region of heart other than SCNO2 if it generates the automatic impulse it is called ectomic, ectopic pacemaker activity it carries uh, less chances of uh, prolonging the QT interval therapeutic uses intravenous amiodarone it is used for treatment and prophylaxis of uh, recurrent and resistant ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia which could be life threatening it may be used to maintain the sinus rhythm in uh, a paroxysmal atrial fibrillation adverse effects this drug contains iodine in its structure so it may cause uh, thyroid disorders peripheral neuropathy myocardial uh, depression lung fibrosis liver toxicity corneal micro deposits it deposits in the eye and also causes photosensitivity next is uh, mexilitin it's a class 1b antiarrhythmic drug it is very similar to lidocaine but this drug could be given orally uh, flecainide it's class 1c antiarrhythmic drug it is useful in uh, wolf parkinson white syndrome retilium uh, it's a class 3 antiarrhythmic drug it's a ad adrenergic neuron blocker also called as a pharmacological defibrillator ibutylide uh, it's a class 3 antiarrhythmic drug it is the only antiarrhythmic drug uh, currently approved for a conversion of atrial fibrillation to sinus rhythm uh, let us see how verapamil is useful in arrhythmias it's class 4 antiarrhythmic drug uh, it's a drug of choice for uh, supraventricular tachycardia and the prophylaxis of uh, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia Dijoxin actually it's a drug which is used in uh, heart failure. Uh, it's a class 5 antiarrhythmic drug also. It increases the vagal activity that is responsible for reduction of arrhythmias arising out of atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. So it is not useful in ventricular arrhythmias. It causes toxicity as ventricular arrhythmias. At that time lidocaine is useful. Adenosine. It's a class 5 antiarrhythmic drug, potassium channel opener, used parenterally for uh, as a drug of choice for uh, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Magnesium, uh, it's a class 5 antiarrhythmic drug used for both congenital and acquired long QT syndrome. So it's a very short information of all the antiarrhythmic drugs which will be useful for your exam preparations. I hope uh, it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. Kindly go through all the series uh, which is available. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Thank you for listening. Thank you.